if you're ready to learn about the scientific discovery, let's dive right in! Hello, hello, I'm Maggie of My Transgender Date, the number one dating platform for trans women. Before we dive into today's topic, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell. Today, we're going to shine our spotlight on transgender scientists and their incredible contributions to the world of science. So if you're ready to learn about the intersection of gender identity and scientific discovery, let's dive right in. First on our list is Lynn Conway. Lynn Conway is one of the best in the technology industry. She's had an extensive experience in her field. In the 60s, she worked at IBM and invented generalized dynamic instruction handling. Most modern computer processors use this invention today to improve performance. From the 70s to the 90s, she was recognized for breaking the gender barrier in the field of computer science as a woman. This was because she did not come out until 1999. But from the year 2000 onwards, only then she was recognized for breaking the gender in the same field as a trans woman. Next on our list is Ben Bars. Bars is a neurobiologist at Stanford University. He transitioned in 1997 and became the first openly transgender scientist in the National Academy of Sciences in 2013. At an early age before he transitioned, he experienced gender discrimination as a woman in science. He was often denied by schools in their science and mathematics courses because of being a woman. In MIT, when he was able to solve a difficult math problem, he was accused of cheating by letting his then-boyfriend answer the questions. In 2012, he shared in a seminar that he decided to change his gender 15 years prior because he didn't have role models to point to. But being his own inspiration and being true to himself has earned him success in the field of neurobiology. Third on our list is Julia Serrano. She is an author, musician, activist, spoken word performer, and among many other things, a transgender scientist. She obtained her PhD in biochemistry and molecular biophysics at Columbia University. Then she started her 17-year-long career at the University of California where she was a researcher of genetics and developmental and evolutionary biology. As an author, she has written three multi-awarded books, specifically Whipping Girl, A Transsexual Woman on Sexism and The Scaping Goat of Femininity, Excluded, Making Feminism feminist and queer movements more inclusive and outspoken, a decade of transgender activism and trans feminism. Her books were recognized by the Lambda Literary Awards, Publishing Triangle, and Independent Publisher Book Awards. With all she's done in many different fields, we can all agree that she's amazing, isn't she? The fourth amazing trans scientist on our list is Kate Craigwood, best known for promoting women in IT, green IT, and trans inclusion. She came out in 2008 of March through the Sunday Times magazine. She did this to inspire young trans women because she never had any role models such as herself growing up. She also did this to bust some myths about transgender people. She was passionate about improving medical care for trans people in her country. Sadly, Kate Craigwood passed away in 2020 at the age of 43 from a suspected drug-related incident. But her legacy lives on. She is remembered for being an advocate for women in technology, her passion for environmentally conscious initiatives, and for her contributions to the technology sector. The fifth trans scientist you should know is Safi Wilson. Safi Wilson is a British computer scientist and engineer known for her significant contributions to the field of computer architecture and microprocessor design. She became a prominent name in the tech industry after helping design the BBC Micro and ARM architecture which are used in building modern computers today. Her success started when she designed a microcomputer with a microprocessor which was used to feed cows electronically. 
Her most successful design to date is the ARM-1. It was created in April 26, 1985. But would you believe that by 2012, it was used in 95% of smartphones? This processor type is one of the most powerful ones available in the industry. So if you're watching this video from your smartphone right now, you have Sophie Wilson to thank for that technology. Next on our list is Krista Muth. She's best known for coining the term human systems engineering, which seeks to create systems that are optimized for human performance, safety, and satisfaction. Basically, human systems engineering plays a critical role in improving the quality of life, increasing safety, and enhancing the efficiency of various human and technology interactions. She is also known for improving the Swiss and overall engineering educational system for the better. Her knowledge of psychology and engineering has pushed forth progress in her field. Without her, human systems engineering would not be what it is today. Last but not least, our seventh trans scientist, Rachel Padman. She is a physicist and a researcher who has made important contributions to the study of stellar evolution. She is known for her work on the physics of stars and the life cycle and has published numerous papers on this subject. Her research has helped to deepen our understanding of how stars are formed and how they age and eventually die. Her research has also helped us understand the overall evolution of the universe. She received a PhD in physics at Cambridge University where she works as a professor. Her work may focus on stars, but now we know that she is also a star in her own field. Thank you for joining me on this journey to learn about transgender scientists. There are other transgender scientists who have made and continue to make valuable contributions to the world of science. If I missed any of your favorites, you know what to do. Share your favorite trans scientist in the comments down below. By recognizing their achievements, we can help pave the way for future trans scientists to thrive. If you found this video insightful, make sure to give me a thumbs up. See you in the next video.